Welcome back to Two Girls, One Bong. The podcast that's better if you're stoned, and if you're not, I'm going to sneak into your bed and suck on your toes at night. My name is Mac Dizzle. And I'm Joya. Let's, Let's dive, dive on in. in. I bet there's going to be lots of people who are purposely not stoned listening to this so that you'll break into their house and suck I on their need, toes. I need everyone to know that this is the worst kind of toe sucking that you could receive. It's all teeth. <laughs> like a Like a teething baby sucking on a nipple dude i like just found out that that is like a painful experience for women like a couple years ago i didn't know that breastfeeding was like like not you know i didn't think it was enjoyable per se but i didn't know that it can be like actually fucking painful bro apparently like if you get like too much milk in your tits that's when it hurts really really bad and you have to like push it out Oh, I yeah. only know I'm... that because I saw this one movie called Bad Neighbors or Good Neighbors or something with Zac Efron and um, yes, I remember. Other guy. Yeah, 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 Seth Rogen. It's Seth yeah. Rogen. And he has to fucking milk her tit for her. Yeah, <laughs> that was the funniest scene. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah, I know for sure. Well, because have you ever had like sore boobs like around your period yeah. or anything? Yeah, it's like that times ten. Oh my god! No, it hurt. even just like putting on a shirt can hurt, bro just walking that's how a lot that's how a lot of people even know that they're pregnant because their tits hurt so bad yeah Uh uh-huh i feel like if you're already at your tits hurting you're probably pretty far along at that point no no i mean it depends on it just depends on the person but there's people who are like i knew that i was that something was i knew because you want to know how i knew i was pregnant how i threw up every single morning (laughs) every single morning how like <laughs> how like far when? oh i was i think it was nine when i got it done weeks mm-hmm. oh, okay so it's like two months to mm-hmm. yeah it's like right yeah. it was like right at the cutoff when they were like the this is when the pill stops and then you have to start doing other things if you don't but yeah oh, i was like right I at the at the cutoff for the pill because it still wasn't it's only had like the heartbeat or whatever it didn't have anything else Fuck that heartbeat. Fuck of heart. You know what else has a heartbeat? Uh, snails. Uh, f- uh, sea cucumbers. Uh, and you know Do what? They? Sea cucumbers. Sea don't cucumbers don't hearts. even have a brain. They don't even have a brain. But they're alive. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Anyways, life hi. and life is precious. Hi. How how <laughs> are you today? I'm I'm good. How are you? You know I am up and down. It's it's a roller coaster of a day today. Um, love that for you yeah no it's really nice i uh, saw already cried. you you got your living room done though that it looked amazing I did i've been trying to clean my house today y'all for everyone listening um i live in a state of chaos because i have five dogs and it's very hard for me as a person who's a not really clean on her own but b having to pick up after five dogs and herself is a lot so my house is fucking a disaster most of the time so I'm trying to make some very conscious. Ooh, can I talk about something that I'm I'm doing? Fuck, yeah. fuck my house. Fuck, fuck the houses. I mean, this is all tied yeah. into it though. Um, but I've been, I did shrooms not that long ago. I told, or I remember telling you last yeah, last you time told we podcasted, me, but... or maybe maybe it was on the podcast. But we, I did shrooms with my friend Sydney a little while ago, and I was like, well, here's the thing. I had already been drinking when I tried the shrooms with Sydney, and I was like, okay. And I got home, and I still had more alcohol, and I was like, kind of like sipping on it. And I was also on those shrooms. And in that moment, I was like, why, though? Why am I trying to get more fucked up right now? Like, what's what's the tea? You're sitting here alone watching mm-hmm. Drag Race. What's the, why are we trying to get yeah. more fucked up right now? And so that kind of was, like, the starting point of me realizing, okay, Mac, maybe we can do something about this escaping your emotions via alcohol situation. Mm-hmm. Um, and so last week on Friday... I did some shrooms in How the morning. Actually, no. It was on Saturday. I did them on Saturday. And I only did 0.35. Nice. I did like a very small little micro dose. Um, because for me, shrooms are a very anxious, anxiety inducing experience, especially like the first hour or two of shrooms. They're very, very, very uncomfortable for me. Um it's not a good time for me. But after that, I kind of get some clarity and figure out my life um but yeah so like the fr- so i took just a little bit in like the first hour and a half i was like super uncomfortable so i put shrek 2 on and i was like this is a safe happy place yeah <laughs> yeah so i watched that um and by the end of it i was just bawling 
<laughs> just bawling tears because it's such a cute movie. It is okay, so first cute. and foremost, she decides, she says, look, I can be a white woman and have everything and be a princess and all of this privilege. And she says, eh, I'm going to be fucking an ogre. I'm going to be an ogre with For my you, ogre man. Shrek. That's, yeah. And I would... And I respect that choice. I respect that fucking choice, bro. Not yeah. that like being a white woman is so great, but I mean, you know, the privilege that comes with it. Not and not just like she's also a princess. A princess. But I guess she's the princess, princess the princess though. thing doesn't go away. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, but it was like really it was like a profound thing for me in that moment. I was like, she's choosing to be a fucking ogre <laughs> over just a tr- a. a a classically good looking person she's choosing love over <laughs> over this european beauty uh, standard and i stand and oh my god what's even more sweet is that shrek was willing to let himself go from that life he was so willing to sign up for this new life of being just prince fucking shrek as a human he was so down he was like fiona i fucking ride with you if this is what you want let's fucking do it and, she, and now i'm gonna say the line he says He's, he says, isn't this what you want? And she says, I want what every princess wants. Her fairy tale ending. With so the good. ogre I married. Aww. And then, because they're supposed to do a kiss before midnight to stay as humans. But then she was like, no, oh, bitch. Oh, right. So she's we're like, not no kissing. kissing. Mm-hmm. And then oh they kiss gosh, after, after midnight. Yeah. Oh my God, it was so cute. Anyway, so yeah, I was bawling. 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 <sighs> Because same would also choose to be an ogre with my ogre love. Ten times out of ten would reject this body, jump into the ogre body. <laughs> I feel like I'm already kind of halfway there with the hands. <laughs> I got these really meaty clubs <laughs> attached you, to my wrist. You do have the, I mean, they. it's not <laughs> translating on camera, but I do know what they look like in person. And I got you have fat little hands, sausage fingers. Yeah. Yeah. They look nice right now. They what, do. What's happening? It's the, I know. I'm like, actually, those look like very, not that you have like disgusting, ugly no. hands or anything. Just like they no. do look really, really nice. But it's funny because I never used to be insecure about my hands until I, we started Two Girls, One Bong and we would do like videos rolling stuff up and people. Close up hands. <laughs> yeah. No, people literally called me Shrek. People literally called me Shrek. That is ridiculous, <laughs> but <laughs> but now I'm like, good, thank you. Shrek's a great guy. Period. And uh, anyway, so doing shrooms, yes, doing shrooms to kind of help my brain figure out why it's sad. Um, and I took them on Saturday. The last time I drank was on Friday. Took them on Saturday, and I'm not like I drink usually like every three days. Like that's just my tea. Um, and I haven't drank it at all. Wow. I'm on like day five or six. Good for you. <laughs> nope, somebody at the door. No, it's not somebody at the door. It's somebody. Well, yes, somebody at the door. Yes, but not outside. Door, door. Inside. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hang on a second. I'm just okay, sure, that. sure. That's yeah. what. Yeah, we've talked about how, not in your personal experience, just in general, how like psychedelics help people with addiction Mm -hmm. they're actually doing a lot of research there's i think one peer-reviewed studied out right now like one legit study on it um where people like they would go once or twice a month to take shrooms and they would stay in this room and like listen to like some kind of audio meditation situation thing and like 90 percent of the participants like 80 or 90 percent of the participants were either able to get their drinking under control or quit altogether stop yeah yeah and i'm not i'm not the kind of person that i feel like i need to be like never again type type issue i just don't want to do it as frequently as i do you know or, like, as, I can or still... as much in quantity well and oh uh, yes and it's to the point where i'm drinking alone and i think that's a, a slippery slope for me i do i think that is a like uh, yeah not just in your case in general when when somebody feels like they need to drink when they're by themselves or even just that they like feel feel better Mm -hmm. yeah then that definitely is an issue but then i I think think it's an indication of a a deeper issue that you're trying to cover up you know well yeah exactly which means there's a problem with your relationship with alcohol but i also i think about like you know with weed and i know they're not the same thing not even close alcohol kills thousands of people per year but it makes me like, I'm kind of like, 
every every second that I have a free any every second that I can let my brain go for a moment and I don't have to really use it I want to be high yeah Mm -hmm. and so it makes me like I've hmm. been yeah I've been a lot more deliberate about when I smoke because like I'm telling you these shrooms are just like resetting my brain in a way that I just don't even know that's what they fucking do that's literally what they do they create the new freaking connections and the synapses all freaking yeah my shit's firing off crazy right now fuck yeah dude um because i've i've noticed that i've noticed i was like dang like i really sit around and smoke weed and watch tiktoks all fucking day and then i get at the end of my day and i feel sad Mm -hmm. because i haven't done anything with my day and i'm just smoking a depressant all fucking day sitting and not doing anything yeah so i've been much more deliberate about my consumption like if i want to be like stoned before the grocery store i'll take a hit before the grocery store yeah um i definitely like long drive if i have a long drive ahead of me i don't want to be fucking sober for that fuck yeah Um, no way but you know i just i've been trying to kind of just be much more intentional about my consumption like i usually i've usually i used to take i would wake up take three four bong rips and then throughout the day i would be taking three four bong rips every hour to two hours right Mm -hmm. if i went two three hours without smoking i was like oh my god what the fuck you know Uh, yeah yeah and so now i'm kind of like i haven't smoked anything yet today um uh it's almost noon and do you feel you feel good about that yeah no i do i feel like i found a new routine in the morning to where i'm i get this this little bit of caffeine in my body um, I try to answer some DMs on my new page just to try to be like cute and sweet and keep everyone coming back. Yeah. Um, and then I try to set out my goals for the day. I feel like that's the best thing I can do for myself currently. Yes. I, because I do. So I do my to do list the night before. And that's like my, I Mm. like, I mean, I try to, if I like, if I, whenever I remember that I need to do something, I write it down. But if I, if I go into the next morning and I don't have something written down, I'm like, oh, fuck. So Mm -hmm. the fact that you have found a a little carved out space in your morning to be like, this is what I'm doing today. And like, Mm -hmm. that's what works Mm -hmm. for you is freaking awesome. Yeah. Cause I used to do like a really like lax version of it. Like, I would I was I was waking up a little bit later at the time. I was waking up around like nine with Rajul. Which is crazy. As your friend I, I know. of many years, as a person who knows you so well, I cannot fathom the idea of you sleeping in past seven thirty. At the <laughs> latest. At the very latest. This bitch used to be awake at five, five thirty every fucking day. I swear yeah. to God. And I so still anyway. do that in the winter. It happens a lot more because my body is synced up with the sun mm-hmm. a lot. And so when it gets dark early, I get tired super right. early. And so I wake up. Much as earlier. you should, as our ancestors mm-hmm. did. Did. Like, <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So um, I, I, yes. I carve out this. So I used to do like a version of this where in the morning, like I'd wake up at around nine. Raju would wake up. We'd be like on our phones, just dicking around. And I'd be like, okay, today I want to do this and I want to do this. It'd be like a list of like one or two things. Right. Right. You know, but today or like recently I've been coming up with like actual menial little tasks that make me feel good to cross off, Uh you know, Um, and and also go ahead. I was just going to say breaking things down into smaller pieces because like if you write down or if you, if you think to yourself, I want to clean my house today. I feel like when I say that, it never gets. It's not gonna fucking happen. I have the to whole do house. Yeah, please. Well, I mean, even like, like it's like it's possible, but that the idea is impossible. Right. I, I. It needs to be. I need to clean the kitchen, the living room, and my bedroom. It's three, and rooms. that's yeah. Or and then tomorrow, or I'll do some others. Right. Or it's the bathrooms, or even if it is the whole house, right? Doing them separately. Yeah. If I if I just write down clean house. <laughs> not gonna happen for me there it's just not it's not gonna get finished like if i put do laundry i'm not gonna do laundry i need to be realistic and be like wash dry and fold two loads of laundry yeah yeah you know yeah like it needs to be like an actual attainable exactly finite amount totally of work and that has know? been broken down into smaller pieces yes. and more manageable pieces yes this yeah, is something totally. i realized i realized i did this when i was in um when i was in high school and i got diagnosed with adhd the one of the very first things i started doing um was i wrote out a calendar 
And every single day when I got home, I would write down every single assignment that I needed to complete it or at each class, I would write if I needed to do anything. Mm -hmm. If there was nothing to do under the class, I just got to highlight it and mark it off. And it was a great little thing for me. Yeah. But I would have, I wish I had, I, I, sh- I can probably find a copy of one of these somewhere, but because I did them for months, months. And I started getting straight A's because I was on Adderall A, but B, like my organization yeah. got insane. Mm-hmm. Because every time I completed one of my little things, I would highlight it in a different color. And by the end of the month, I just had like this rainbow sheet of just all these rainbow highlighted tasks. And I would look at it and be like, yes. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, I feel so good. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. that's a really and that's I mean writing things down. That there's something that happens with fucking dopamine in the brain, like crossing something off of a list, a physical list that you can see and freaking that you can touch. Yeah, <laughs> totally. I like an actual X out. I like to put the line through it so yeah. that I know it was there and now I'm done. I don't want to just delete it off the list. So that's I what I, like I used to do. I recently got um a different app for my to-do list and I, I do, I check the box and it goes into okay. a different folder. Oh, so okay, it goes, okay. so if I want to go into that folder and see, see all everything. the things that I, yeah, so I can, but it doesn't stay in the list. It does disappear, yeah. but it moves to a different thing. Which, yeah, in my, before, I've just been, I've probably been in the habit of a to-do list for, like, since, probably since I moved in a good, mm-hmm. in a good habit of it. Like, so, like, a year and a half. But I Oh, was girl, just doing- I can see the way that this house is versus your apartment. And it's not, obviously, you have a lot more space here, but, like, you're a different human with this yeah. home. I'm, I mean, <laughs> yes, like, in many different, yeah, aspects of my life for sure I'm so much more organized now but I was using my notes app and so I would be deleting things like I'd just be backspacing it once I finished it and it was like not as not as satisfying I mean it still is because I got rid of it and I did the thing but like being able to like check a box no I like to see what I did I want to see what I've done. Show yeah. me, show me this show list me the of Carfax. 30 items. Show me yeah. this list of 30 items now at zero. Thank you. Yeah, totally. Yeah. It's no, amazing. I, that. Um, I think, I think Dev sent us a current event. I'm going to try to it's look at it. It's that the queen died. The queen died? Yeah. The yeah. queen. The queen. The yeah. queen. The yeah. one that was just ooting a boot like last week. Yes. Literally like two days ago. That's what I said. I was like, she literally just met with their new prime minister like two days ago. It's a good thing she got that meeting in, girl. What the f- How old was she? 96. Queen Woo! for 75 years. Woo! I mean, I'm not a big fan of England. I can't lie. Biggest colonizers on the fucking planet. Yeah. I'm English. Okay. Um, But... I, so what is what does the the queen is literally just there for like vi, for visual purposes right like yes. she's not even making rules right no she is not allowed to participate in government she's <sighs> not allowed to uh show favoritism to a party she is, what is there gonna be a king now yeah king charles her <gasps> son and guess what bitch and guess, guess what guess what so charles is the husband was the husband of diana diana is princess the diddler? yeah yeah the, the pedophile he's the, diddler? he's the pedophile well andrew i think is the pedophile oh, that's andrew. i think you're right I think um, andrew is the pedophile. but i think they all got some weird perversions i don't know that's when you're that rich you got to get into weird that, stuff you i mean when you, you get bored literally you get bored with like I regular don't under- yeah i so yeah um, right <laughs> so yeah he was married to diana many many years ago uh they got they, divorced they got divorced said- and they yeah they didn't have a great relationship the whole entire time he was cheating on her with a girl who he loved named camilla it was like his his sort of like his uh the one that got why did away. he marry diane uh, diana because she Which was suitable she was like um i think they, a they great were person an they, icon a legend yeah they had a good relationship at first, um, but then I think he realized, like, she, I mean, she was, like, you know, she's out of the box. Like, she wasn't, like, the 
she didn't like the way that everything was so cookie cutter. Mm-hmm. The family didn't accept her. Like they had a mm-hmm. lot of problems. And he was cheating on her the whole time with Camilla yeah. Bowles. But like Bowles everybody Parker. loved Diana, right? Right. Like the she public was like a, loved her. Because she was like a normal fucking person. Yeah. She came from like a, a wealthy family, but she mm-hmm. wasn't like royalty. Like, like she unattainable. Was, right. Know? She was like if she was a normal fucking person. And there was like this big um I remember watching because I watched The Crown. So, you know, I'm like an expert on the monarchy or whatever. <laughs> but there was this one incident where she went and visited um, AIDS patients in a hospital. I remember. Yeah. And she was like affectionate with them. She hugged yeah, them. And, as you should. And it was a huge deal because people were like, he's you gonna know, have it now. Yeah. We don't they, know anything about AIDS or how it they, works. Yep. They were treating it like leprosy. That's so insane, um bro the stigma behind it is so fucking insane yeah, it's bro. really sad um but yeah so he's cheating on her the whole time with camilla parker bowles which is like yeah they they had been a thing back in the day but she got married to somebody else he got married to somebody else but they never stopped being together really and That's so weird. why uh, do people do that i don't fucking know people are fucking weird dude i literally don't understand why would you why not just fucking break up like I Why don't not to understand. Be with the person, be with you the person love you actually, be with. right? Exactly. Like if you need to cheat on your significant other, like literally, why are you in that relationship? It just doesn't make any sense. But so, um, yeah. This, then so Diana dies, and he ends up marrying Camilla. It was a car accident. Right? Car accident. Yeah. Which yeah, that's highly debated. Um, Sus. they think yeah. Sus. But, but um, so then he marries Camilla, and um, it was like. The, P, the people of England were told that Camilla would never be have the title of queen. Um, uh, now she's going to be queen, isn't she? Well, so in recent years, Elizabeth said she wants Camilla to have the title of queen, which the thing is, they, the, the only person, to my understanding, in the monarchy, the only person who is allowed the king or queen title is the person who has the Windsor family bloodline. So okay. when the queen became queen, her husband was not King Philip. He was yeah. Prince Philip. Actually, okay. he was he was Duke or something. I he was stand that. Keep him in his place. I know. Right. So well, and <laughs> that was in the, in the show too because he he was like, my son has a higher ranking than me. Like who cares? And, well, yeah. So he put up a, he he bitched about it and then got the the title Prince Philip. Um, but <laughs> yeah. So now people are like, she's like gonna be freaking. I like mean, who cares? <laughs> like she doesn't well, get to make any bitch. rules or do anything. No, she doesn't get. But to guess do what? She does get to do. Take all the taxpayers' have, money. <laughs> we'll have the public eye on you for the rest of your fucking life and not be able to do anything fun ever again. Have, well, no, have a good no, time being the queen. That's been there for sure. That's already been there because <laughs> they've oh. been involved I, for a long time. Yeah. Ew. Ew. Imagine that that's your legacy. I cheated. I cheated to get here. Yeah. I was a homewrecker. Like, you dumb fucking bitch. <laughs> Against somebody that everybody loved. That That's why. Gross. So she must and, be insecure as fuck on the yes, daily, bro. Th- that was part of the show. Like, in the show, she was like, because he's like, I want to be with you. I don't want to be with her anymore. And she's like, good luck. Like, if if we were to end up together, like, I would never fucking win in the court of public opinion ever. She is yeah. so loved. Well, and so and they're also, like, okay, let's kill her. Y'all being shady cheaters, too. So yeah. another reason to hate you. It's right. not just because you're you. Maybe you could be loved, queen. Maybe you could be loved. You try being, such a, yeah. try channel a little more Diane, okay? Yeah. <laughs> it's Diana. <laughs> Diana, Diane. Me and Diane are cool, honestly. She didn't, she didn't mind that I dropped the A. It's more, less formal. I'm also dying. At, there's like so many memes on Twitter now. Like there was like this picture. It's a picture of a girl like we're getting ready to throw a slab of concrete, and it says Princess Diana waiting for the queen in in the afterlife. Whatever. She's like she has like this fucking slab of concrete like ready to go. Well, they did oh, Diana really dirty. They did her dirty. They took yeah. her crown away. Fucking dirty little bitch. Yeah, and they definitely it's like the way that she is portrayed, it seems like she was like obscure. Like she was like different and like, you know, like didn't she fit. She was in just with a them. baddie with her fucking yeah. good head on her shoulders. Yeah. Well, you no, I mean, but the way that she, she's portrayed, it's like she she was like, I mean, like, I don't want to say weird, but like just like a little different. Like she like it, 
this was written that she was like calling the queen mom and mummy mummy not mum so not mom but mum and mummy and like the queen's like that's kind of funny. I'm not your mum like that's, that's pretty maybe it was ironic weird, did anyone right? did anyone think that she was being ironic and like maybe it was like funny for her yeah i don't know i mean <laughs> I don't know because like, but... she hated the queen, right? And she also was cheating on Charles. Like they were just cheating oh, on each was other. She? Oh yeah. Oh Diana. Oh yeah. She was Diana. like fucking her her security and like yeah. Not the seg- seguridad. Come on. Seguridad. See. Sí. <laughs> seguridad. Yep. Sí. Por favor, yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. So they definitely they were they were everybody's cheating on each other. The Prince Philip was cheating on the Queen a long time ago in like the fifties and the sixties or whatever so okay here's the thing if i was ever propositioned by somebody in the royal family to cheat with them i would say no my reasoning self-preservation yeah i don't want to fucking I would die like, i would like to live until yeah. i die a natural death that'd be yeah. great yeah or like a blaze of glory at my own whim you know like riding on a fucking uh whale and fighting a dinosaur that's Dude, how i want to go you know what this is i just remembered that there's this part in the show where Camilla shows Diana this gift that Why are they Charles hanging out? they hung out at the beginning of the relationship. It was like Diana, like I guess oh, that's the thing. Oh, this is my best gal pal. Yeah, Camilla. exactly. Yeah. Uh, so she, but then there's like yeah evidence that like Charles like gave Camilla like a gift that said like there there are two nicknames that they call each other. It was like a watch or something like that, something expensive, like a little that, pet name that had it they would call each other two these two different names and they their names were on this little piece of jewelry that he got her and it reminds me of like okay my mom told me the story once from well, my dad's ex-girlfriend that she spoke to girlfriend yeah oh this is a long this is 30 years ago because i'm trying to think of how your parents got together my they met at the airport my mom was working behind the counter and wasn't your mom in something married. else at the time married okay it was married in a then. horrible relationship well, yeah, yeah no, i'm not i'm not you're, you're yeah. demonizing your mother i respect the fuck out of her for getting out of that relationship and finding yeah. true happiness with your father because no yeah but her. yeah she she, she was being a little hoe she was married at the time she, and you know what Found, made a beautiful family after that mm-hmm. oh you can't turn a hoe into a house <laughs> tell you what uh, yeah so there was this lady that my dad was dating because my dad was in a relationship too he had a girlfriend he wasn't married okay. but he had a girlfriend okay. so um for whatever reason my mom was spoke to this woman and she had told my mom like oh he really loves like a, a hot meal when he gets home from a trip like something like that my mom's like fuck you like yeah, like literally, that's just what like those kinds of women do, and that's like that was the energy that I got from the show of the depiction of like a meeting between Diana and Camilla. Mm-hmm. Camilla's like, oh, he really likes this, and if you rub his shoulders after a la la la, like those kinds mm-hmm. of, she's that energy. She's a whore. Mm-hmm. Fuck Camilla Parker. Bowles, like, don't give Windsor. me advice about my man. Yeah. <laughs> thank you like and it's funny because that's like that was like you know people like of that stature like they that's like what you did like i don't think that she was like yay i really want to go out to lunch with you know my future husband's ex-girlfriend like but that's just like what they did so very crazy like, there's 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 being civil and then there's being fucking weird exactly okay. and that's yeah <laughs> i think we're pretty far over on the fucking weird yeah, yeah. There. I, i'm a great example of civility that's a great example of not right you don't need to hang out with your new partner and your ex that's fucking weird it is weird it's fucking super weird so, i don't need to yeah. be around anyone who you've ever entered before honestly yeah Ugh. i could i would be fine never meeting any of them gross yeah yeah nasty it's i did meet one i met a girl that he hooked up with once i only uh, know i only, i told you this story because i didn't speak to her i just saw the way she interacted yeah. with him she like yeah. touched his arm touched his arm and yeah like, yeah and i was like mm-hmm. i was like oh so you know each other i see i got it mm-hmm. noted and asked and him the next well. day he admitted it. Mm-hmm. and yeah. i said why the fuck was she there yeah I met somebody that Adam hooked up with at a party once, and she was really nice to me. I don't remember how how or why it came up, but I was like, 
honestly could have gone without knowing that <laughs> ever knowing you i didn't <laughs> even i didn't ever... remember her name or anything totally could have gone without like, knowing <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I also um, had, okay, have you been seeing any of the posts about the freaking movie that Harry Styles is in and all of that drama? Oh, I heard it's a fucking shit show. Yes. So I freaking, um, I watched a YouTube video and took some notes. <laughs> she did some R&D, baby. <laughs> so can I explain the situation as I understand it? Yeah, yeah. Because I've seen some TikTok videos about yeah. it. Yeah. But um, basically, this one lady director, what's her name? Olivia Wilde. Olivia Wilde. She's an actress. She's trying to direct this movie. Um, she had Shia LaBeouf as the role. And there was some issue between Shia LaBeouf and the way he was acting and treating one of the other actresses. And she was like, I'm not cool with this. Blah, blah, blah. Sh- uh, Shia was like, fuck this. I'm out. I quit. And then Olivia was like, no, Shia, we love you. Don't go. Yeah. Behind closed doors. But in front of the press, she was like. Um, oh no, no he was let kinda, go yeah it was this we wanted to go in a different direction type of situation so she ended up hiring harry styles who she wants to diddle she wants to fuck harry yeah um and they apparently had like some weird canoodling on set to the point where people were like feeling unfucking comfortable and Flo, the girl Flo, right mm-hmm. her name's florence mm-hmm. she was like i'm not chill with this this is bullshit this is nonsense and now at all of the premieres they're never standing next to each other they're not mm-hmm. acknowledging each other mm-hmm. and also apparently harry spit on one of his co yeah. co-stars <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. that guy is an angel somebody needs to give him an award for just dealing with this obnoxious so, child on this tour i don't think that he actually spit on him um it does look like it the video looks like it but because he stops and he goes he goes yeah but it's just like the way too, he reacts. Yeah, it's it's the way he reacts. But it's it's too a too public of a place for somebody of Harry Styles like just yeah. to spit on someone. Yeah, like it's like there are dude, there's dozens of cameras on you, hundreds yeah. of people. Like it wouldn't make sense for him to do that. Mm-hmm. But it's fun to think it. Because it is fun. wait, and also I saw a couple freaking um edits of somebody it was like it was like wow harry style threw a goat on chris pine and it's like somebody literally like (laughs) and there's a goat comes and sits on his lap and then eventually the goat just like slides off and walks away like just so (laughs) stupid and then there's another one where he's like a he's like a um one of those dinosaurs from jurassic park that spits and that spits like the black it's not a velociraptor but it's the thing that oh, has wait, the, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I don't remember oh, what it's don't... called, but yes. And, they and spit it's like the acid shit. It spits black, yeah. And, like, and so there's you. there's one like that that's like that um edit that he's the dinosaur and then it spits black all over Chris Pine. That's very uh, funny. But yeah, so you basically got everything. Um I this girl, I watched this one that had like a timeline of it. Um, and it basically said like so the movies give me the more in depth give me the more in depth so version. the movies announced in april 2020 it's olivia wilde directing um shia labeouf like you said starring and and florence Pugh is the other star mm-hmm. is this her um, first time directing i i don't i think so maybe not first time but definitely something of this um uh, of this size yeah. type movie okay yeah. okay but her first blockbuster type situation yeah, yeah. so um shia is um released from the film they they they're replacing him because of scheduling conflicts at first Mm -hmm. okay so november 2020 comes around so it's like six months later or something this was two years ago yeah that, that that all this started yes that everything started so in november 2020 olivia wilde announces that she's splitting from her fiance who is jason sudeikis by the way you know who that is You'd recognize his face if you saw him. Right now. Sue, Sue Dacus, Jason Sudeikis. Um, so they've been together for seven years. They have kids together. They announced that they're splitting up. And then the next month. Um, oh, okay. yeah. He's, he's her age. Y- yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So then the next month it comes out that Shia was actually like released from the film for poor <laughs> behavior, um, which as i think most of us know that shia labeouf has it's a little unhinged yeah he has anger problems i think he has a drinking problem or a drug problem or something and he goes way too method in certain characters he's trying to be like 
Academy Award winner, fucking yeah. crazy great actor. And so he goes super into some of these roles and it creates yeah. mad issues yeah. amongst the cast. I mean, honestly, I wish he wasn't like that because I love him and have loved him since even holes, Stevens. But bro, yeah, holes. holes yeah. They get on, uh, but, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so he's got his issues. And do you remember, could you fucking remember who he was dating that came to, not Tanache? Is it Tanache? Who the fuck was dating? I don't fuck? know anyone who's ever dated Shia. Never. Okay. So I was talking to my lash girl about this and we were both trying, I'm like, I know who, who, I, I know her face. I know her FKA twigs. God damn it. He's dating a rapper? She's uh, she's a singer. I think she okay. raps too, but the name um, FKA Twigs give me I'm a rapper, rapper from vibes. Atlanta. Yeah. <laughs> um no, she's like British. Um but she came out and was like he was abusive to me. He was like fucking crazy. Like I couldn't get rid of him. I was trying to break up with him and he wouldn't let me. He was freaking insane. So that was a while ago. But um so that's just establishing a pattern of behavior from Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, okay. Um so then in January January 2021, so two months after Olivia Wilde announces that she's not with her fiance any, anymore, her and Harry are seen uh, out Canoodling. in public together, holding hands, <laughs> attending events together. How she's, old is Harry and how old is she? This is relevant and important to me. She's not that old. Because um, I shame men for dating younger all the time, and I'm going to shame her. It goes both ways. It just, I don't have as much opportunity for this. I'm excited for this opportunity. She's 38, and Harry Styles is 28. So, it's a big, a little bit of a difference. It's not horrible. 10 years. I mean, if he was, like, 22 and she was, like, yeah, 32, then that's that's weird. That's way worse for me. But 28, 30, he's almost 30. She's almost 40. Eh, Whatever. Yeah. So, um, but also Harry interested, first... Harry being interested in Olivia is very weird to me because he has an ocean of young women who would just throw themselves at him. Is he just into mature women? women yeah. I mean, right. Exactly. Cause some men aren't, aren't interested in like younger. Rajul women, loves mature is... women. He, well, every time he says a character, yeah, it's like a woman who's 40 plus on screen. It's like an old lady. And that's not old. Um, it's just it's just a woman funny. who's who's just, like who's like a, a mother, mature, like, <laughs> mature. It's yeah. a mature woman. You um, know? That reminds me of my my brother in law once said that his favorite porn star. I don't remember her name, but it was like a whole conversation in, with our whole family. It was, like, it was probably Rachel Ann or something. <laughs> so I don't. That does sound kind of familiar. But she's like she's like a milf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, I know. I, I don't. I don't remember her tits. name exactly. Yeah, yeah. She's brunette. Um, no, and... she's not. She's blonde. Oh, really? Oh, no, yeah. no, don't know her then. I'm thinking, I'm thinking of someone else. Blonde her name is Brittany Ann Br- Horn Star. Fuck. Now it's just a, that's too. That's way too uh, vague of a of a Google. Yeah. Um, you're but... just you're just all the porn side. Pop <laughs> it's just literally. I feel bad for Jason. He's a nice guy. He's funny I don't too. Know him. We don't know. I don't him. know. Yeah, we don't I've know. I've seen him. him in movies though, and I liked his yeah. roles. Same. He's funny. Um. But so, yeah, so then it's like, yeah, Olivia and Harry are like now in a fucking relationship. They're seen everywhere together. They're going, she's going to all his shows and blah, 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 blah. Like you mentioned, this is, this is like um, one of those things that's not confirmed, but is like highly rumored that Olivia was then not doing well on the set. She wasn't fulfilling her responsibilities of as director. She was like Mm -hmm. focusing all of her energy on Harry. And so this is also another part of that that's highly rumored is that Florence Pugh was having to like take over certain responsibilities of directing because Olivia Wilde was in fucking La La Land obsessed with Harry Styles. Mm -hmm. Um, So fast forward, nothing happens for a while. Fast forward and you might remember seeing this video. Remember a woman is on stage and she gets custody papers delivered to her on stage. Did you ever see that? It's no. Olivia Wilde. She's speaking somewhere. And her husband is delivering. It's not her husband. It's you know how you know someone someone else delivered. But no, those her husband things. hired someone to deliver <clears throat> right. those things, and it just happened but to be. Some so I was when what I was reading was that it's the person who's um served her. Yeah, the person who's asking to be the papers to be served, which would be her husband, her fiance. 
they don't know when the papers when or where yeah, yeah, yeah. the papers are going to be served. So people are like, oh, he did that on purpose, which is like <laughs> probably not true. Honestly, would have been a boss move if he did. Yeah, but that's highly unlikely. But that's what she said. She came out and was like, he did that on purpose, like whatever. So, but I remember watching that video, not knowing any of this other stuff, not mm-hmm. paying, not fucking, I don't even know who half these people are, but being like, oh my God, that is so awkward. But like, like if you're at the took- point where you have to be served, that means you're being highly combative in the entire situation yeah, anyway. Totally. Totally. Like, that's completely. And it was for custody. So something was going on with their custody yeah. battle. Um, and so we're in April 2022 when that happens. Fast forward a couple months, Florence still has not posted anything on Instagram about the movie, and she's like known to post about projects that that she's working on yeah the the verbiage that was used that i read was gush over movies that Mm. she's in like she's like she was in really excited to be a part of exactly exactly and there was none of that at all so when she um, only showed up to one of the premieres too i'm sure you'll get to that one thing yeah yeah one thing the entire so okay yeah so um, she's also in the press quoted saying that she doesn't want this movie to be reduced down to a sex scene with a pop star, um, which I found Fair. out later that in so in 2021, the year before, Olivia is in an interview saying that she's really excited for people to see the sex scene because it's very female forward because he's eating her pussy. So whatever that means, I've seen congratulations plenty of you movies where a men eat scene. Pussy. Yeah. And that's so, also like, let's not whatever, be female bitch. positive. Some men feel powerful because of that. Yeah. So she's yeah, she she made a comment like it was like female forward and she she's really excited for people to see female pleasure in a movie, which first of all, the word female is out, okay? Second of all, no one's thinking that. <laughs> like no one is thinking That's because they saw I somebody. I want to go to a movie. I want right. to see women's orgasm. I don't go to exactly for that. And I want to see specifically someone get their pussy eaten, like girl, by like, Harry Styles. Yeah, whatever. So, um, yeah. So Olivia, or I mean Florence, is like, I don't want it to be reduced to a sex scene with a pop star. Like she's a real fucking actor. Yeah. And Harry Styles is like literally just just fucking got here. So now we're in July 2022. We go to August 2022. Shia comes out and says he quit. He wasn't fired, but he quit. And he shares texts and a video from, you saw that, from Olivia Wilde, where she's basically, she's not begging, but she is pleading with him to come back to the film. And she says that Miss Flo is going to get a wake up call. Um, and that they they should make peace between the two of them. So something definitely happened between the two of them, whether he was like what? let go or because also Olivia is not the end all be all of the movie. I'm sure she does have a huge say in who goes in it, but also I mean there's like there's producers. Yeah, yeah there's so like a lot. To say. Right. So um then yeah, like you said, it comes out that she was like saying something different in public versus what she was saying behind behind closed doors um and uh, also she was saying that there was no feud between people and it's like obviously there was because you're like you're, i, I wish you guys flow. make amends yeah and yeah calling her miss flow like totally disrespectful which i also saw florence Pugh's um stylist posted pictures of her from the venice film festival and put miss flow as the caption so messy um so yeah also yeah like you said too florence is not doing any press except yeah. for the one event which is the venice film festival which she still she didn't wasn't even go to them. the she didn't go to the press conference like everyone mm-hmm. else did and she literally they're doing a whole press tour it's like you know Dude. everybody does yeah. that they're doing a they press do a tour, tour and they also they've told everyone in the audience like you cannot ask questions about this and then about- somebody else about uh flow they, okay. they, somebody asked a question about flow and like you all right well answer this one you're not answering and then they were like no more questions about that 
And then mm-hmm. somebody else, some British uh, person was like, look, what's going on here? I feel like we're hearing a lot of different narratives and we're not even out allowed to ask these questions and blah, 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 blah. And they got like a really wishy-washy washy answer. And then they were barred from being able to ask any more of those questions. Oh my God. Yeah. Yep. So they're that being sounds, very yeah. particular about the press that they are allowing to be collected on it. Right. And it also just kills me because especially like us as influencers, we know when like st- like little things like that happen, little beefs and things like mm-hmm. that happen with people that, you know, the audience never Does knows about. Knows. Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of funny for me to see like a little bit of a mess and not, you know, be involved in it at all. But yeah. also um, people are it seems like everyone is so fucking annoyed with Harry Styles, too, because he's literally not an actor. He just like took on this role yeah and have you seen the clip of him saying i don't even know what i'm doing really love i don't even know what i'm doing no no no. they ask him what (laughs) they ask him what do you really love about this film and he's like well i really it's what a movie that you go to see and it's like on cinema you know it feels like it feels like a movie yeah there's like a yeah, movie, you know? Get up and go see and, you know, yeah. get your mates and go to the, the theater. And the guy, the other guy, Chris Pine, is like, it he's gro- like, he's grown up in the film industry. He's been an actor for decades. And he mm-hmm. is a very, a true actor. actor. And, you know. And then this guy is like, you know, made like a few cool songs and just happened to have like a really good stage presence i guess and then became a worldwide phenomenon and now he's Mm -hmm. starring in a movie he's conventionally attractive and not afraid of feminine femininity and that's why he really took off honestly yeah and he's a nice voice i'm not gonna say be like he sucks but like you know it's those three things combined well have you seen recently how he was like compared to like michael jackson oh my god and people are like yeah i mean in britain some some magazine in the uk compared him to michael jackson and people were okay so here's the thing here's the thing here's the thing he might be that he might be the t in britain that that might be the case michael jackson was the t in every fucking country he could walk to any Um, fucking country and say nothing and the whole audience would be like (laughs) yes Um, i do have to say though our 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 producer just sent me a text that said joya a few good songs (laughs) <laughs> good sir i'm sorry i do respect I'm not harry, a harry styles. styles man i like the watermelon sugar song that's the only one i know and i know oh, nobody likes that song so i'm like wait what <laughs> there's another one as it was and I, dun, dun, as it was you know that one oh, oh i don't like that song oh okay i liked that one um well no, so yeah so all. then also at this venice film festival um, Harry and Olivia do not interact once on the red yeah. carpet. Don't look at each other. Don't hug. Super weird. He's like, yeah, kiss. what? You're here? <laughs> yeah. Um, and he also, did you see the photos of them on the red carpet? Because he doesn't put his arm around anyone. And mm-hmm. it might just be like a wardrobe thing. Like he doesn't want to mess up his suit or something. But everyone else yeah. has like their arms around each other. And he just stands there like this. Yeah. And it's a little fucking weird. I think he might but, be a little socially awkward. I think something that we don't consider about a lot of entertainers is they're good at entertaining, but they might not be good at like actual interpersonal relationships. Well, the thing is, he's being normal with like other co-stars. Oh, like he's being normal. And so one, of the, guys, one of the guys, him. he kissed on the lips. Like they have a they they obviously have like a good relationship, but mm-hmm. he's being weird to some people. Um, and he also said in a concert, he's like, I am like, I don't know where he was, but he said, I just had to pop over to Venice to, to spit on Chris Pine. And he's like making a joke about it. Mm. But, and then also Chris Pine's representatives came out and were like, that's insane to think that, to say that he spit on him. Like, what are you fucking talking about? But nobody has denied that there's any problems between anybody. Like nobody has come out and been like, no, we all get along. We're all friends. I think it's pretty clear that nobody likes Harry. (laughs) <laughs> yeah it's well, not except his for fault one... necessarily it's olivia's fault yeah there's one person um that he seems that one to guy. have like a friendship that one with. guy he he's the, the creator of big mouth or like the main voice oh on big mouth. yeah i know okay. that actor i know gotcha. that actor um yeah have you That's um so funny what's that one actor brendan he Frazier? played brendan Fraser. yes okay yeah. so do you know what happened to him yeah. For, for those for our listeners who don't, basically what happened to Brendan Fraser is he was working on a film 
um and he was sexually assaulted by i believe like the director or like a oh. producer on the film yeah no so this this oh, is the real tea that on what happened this is the bottom line of how all of this started he was sexually assaulted by uh some one of the higher ups in hollywood and he came out and, and said look this person did this to me and he was blackballed from every single studio after brendan that. fraser mm -hmm. not terry cruz right brendan fraser huh yeah, he came out and talked about how he was sexually assaulted and he was blackballed from basically every major studio after that. Um, and he's been trying to like have his comeback. And just most recently, I think he was in, it wasn't like a huge film, but it was like a screening of it. And he got like an 11 minute standing ovation from the entire crowd. And it was just like the sweetest thing to see Aww. this man get his flowers finally because he is such a staple in my childhood. Like George of the Jungle was one of my, oh my favorite God. fucking movies growing uh, up. Oh yeah, he was part of my sexual I saw a video. <laughs> I saw a video compilation of some old Brendan Fraser stuff. Brendan Fraser yes, was that yeah. guy. And he was a good actor and just a nice guy. You know? And so it was yeah, just really, really... I thought really... you were... Go ahead. Yeah, sad to see that. I thought you were going to talk about how he like had gained a bunch of weight and then was like accosted on the internet and like oh people were well like, yeah i mean that I, that's secondary for me i'm i'm used to that we <laughs> welcome to my life yeah well no but i mean yeah people are like i mean yeah yeah no like, i get it Especially he gained the... a lot of weight and people were really mean no well also he's like what 50 now he's not yeah. 25 acting in movies like what i, I just don't understand George what people think anymore. like we don't ha we don't need to have so much pressure to make people stay hot while they're old like let old people not be hot yeah i think if we all just agree like that ugly old... old people back bro what happened to the betty whites she's been a hundred years old what well, was rest she's, in peace yeah. my lady yeah. but she's looked that way since she was like 40. yeah <laughs> like what the yeah. fuck yeah 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 totally <laughs> that's not old people age y'all bring back old people that's so funny i was also I gonna wanna... say too you're talking about the standing ovations that they got a four minute standing ovation at the venice film festival and florence Pugh like walked out during it and and also they say that a standing ovation which i'm so glad for brandon fraser it they say that a standing ovation is like an indicative of like how well the movie's gonna do mm -hmm. and it has mm -hmm. horrible reviews it yeah. has like 35 percent on rotten tomatoes or something i think a bunch of people were just excited about harry honestly and so mm -hmm. they probably were just like yeah it's harry <laughs> yep. you know totally. and that's it and then you know but you should look it up you should look into this brendan fraser thing and i hope i'm not speaking incorrectly do you want to fact check me well no no no. Just, you you i googled it and yeah it's it, from it, 2018 yeah. he came out and said that yeah philip um philip burke assaulted him in 2003 Mm -hmm. and so yeah. he basically was blackballed from every fucking studio and so it's just so good to see him getting work and just receiving the accol accolades that he deserves because brendan fraser yeah. is a fucking national fucking treasure you be kind to that yes. man no we don't care Cage. we don't care if he gained weight it's okay people your body is capable of so fucking much guess what you can live at 100 pounds you can live at 500 pounds but what an amazing thing that your body can do right wow wow <laughs> stop bringing up people's weight men women children it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter there's this false dichotomy there's this false uh fucking thing where people believe that health and weight are related and they are almost not at all it's like this huge huge thing that the fitness industry and the diet industry has been shoving down our throats they found some doctors to spit out these horrendous facts back in the 90s and 80s basically just fat shaming the fuck out of people into believing that they're gonna die if they're overweight mm -hmm. when that is almost never the case obviously yes when you are at a certain weight there are certain health factors that come into play and that can make things more difficult but i know people who weigh 70 pounds less than me who are probably going to die a lot sooner because they do not maintain a healthy lifestyle skinniness does not equate health fat doesn't equate health stop assuming you know how somebody is living or how their health is based on their fucking weight please god damn please great work please because like it, like oh my god it just drives me crazy because like mm. people will like come into our comments and be like you you should do this and this and this and like you go to the gym constantly you go to the gym regularly, like, it's just, ah! 
I know. It's really fucking annoying. Like, yeah. it's I mean, it's always been. I mean, people called us fat when we were skinny. So oh, that's so how I'm like, yeah, I know your opinion literally means nothing to me because it doesn't even make sense. <laughs> so, like, literally, you don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. So how could I just, respect what you have to say? I can't. Um, unless I'm, like, sexually attracted to you, I don't really care that much about your opinion. And I just need you to know. I'm not, not sexually yeah. <laughs> attracted to you. Yeah. <laughs> yep. There we go. My boyfriend, he thinks my body is the bee's knees. And he that's, that's, my that's, that's, sexy. you know, and that's, that's who I'm trying to impress. Not some random guy named Tim who lives in Nebraska. Yeah. Fuck you, Tim from Nebraska. Suck my ass. Tim from Nebraska is literally like our number one fan. And he's feeling so hurt. Right now. I love you, Tim from Nebraska. I was just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> Tim from Nebraska, you rock. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, it's funny. Dude, but well, this is, I, you just reminded me of this because you did this with your hands, but we went to our first um, college football game of the year the other day. Oh, last weekend. Longhorns. I yes, hook them, hook them, baby. There, um, we went and we, when we got there, there, um, something happened with the um, payment system. It was down. And so when we first got into the stadium, we were trying to buy, I had been walking and I was drunk, so I'm like, I need some fucking water. So we were trying to buy a water. And the guy's like, I can't sell you anything. Our payment system's down. And so we're like, whatever, fuck it. Let's you just go just to. get a water then. Give it to me. I know, right? And the guy, <laughs> it's actually funny because the guy was like taking cash and his manager came up like mid-transaction and was like, what the fuck are you doing? Like no cash because the guy's obviously is going to pocket the cash and take it home. Like, oh, because he, he was like, oh man, I'm just trying to, you know, like the guy's like, I'm about to quit after this. Like whatever. He was definitely going to take it home. Like it was I just like, a, yeah, I mean, and yeah, it's like, dude, this, does the stadium need the extra $15? I, Probably not. If you, if you're stealing from a millionaire corporation, keep yes, doing queen. it. Keep doing it. <laughs> I oh. don't have any qualms about it. If you work and you're like on the clock, like watching my videos and watching TikToks and stuff, keep Steal stealing. Something. Yeah. Steal something. Like, no, because yeah. people call that um, time stealing in the biz in the office oh, world. It's like when they're on doing. The clock. Oh, yeah. I see. You're basically stealing because you're not working while you're, not you're working. being paid. Uh -huh. um, I fully recommend that you do that. <laughs> Fuck your job. You don't need to go above and beyond. They don't care about you. You are replaceable fuck your job period <laughs> well um yeah and I, I should have told that guy that i should have been like fuck your job it's fine but so we got up to <laughs> we decided not to go to our actual seats and we went to this like terrace instead where it was like a way better view of the game so mm -hmm. um and we had done that before where we just stood on we don't stay for the whole game anyway so we just stood on this terrace got a great view of the field and um it was freaking, I st we still don't, I still don't know exactly what happened, but it was free drinks and food on that terrace. And so I, at first I'm like, you said, no, I it was here. Yeah. Well, right. So at first I'm like, <laughs> oh, it's because the payment thing is down. Um, which makes sense. I mean, they're like, what are they going to do? Just let all this stuff go bad. But, um, then somebody that was in there that, you know, of course, Adam's talking to people. He's, he's this so guy's regular like, there. Yeah. Well, this guy tells him that um he was given those tickets through his company and that they told him there was going to be free drinks and free food so i'm like wait a second like are we in like a, an exclusive company like area like <laughs> and but the thing is we've been on one of those terraces before so mm -hmm. i didn't know what the fuck was going on but i confirmed with the girl because there's some girl drinking a uh, seltzer next to me so i'm like hey where'd you get mm -hmm. that she's like in that cooler right there and I'm like, I kind of gave her this I look. I can just she, take it out of the cooler. I, yeah, I give her this look and she's like, yeah, yeah, it's good. Go take it. And so I go over there. I'm kind of like tiptoeing. like, <laughs> And I see the girl working there. And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Help yourself. Like, it's right. It's all there for you guys. Less work for me. Go ahead. I'm like, what, what the fuck? Because we're going back what there every great, time. What a yeah. great little gift you got. On right? Day. I was so what happy. I left there wasted. We freaking <laughs> birded to the bars after that. Not it bird. Was, yeah, we took the scooters over Girl, to the, the bars. Girl, the last time you birded, you almost died. Uh, well, that wasn't the last time, but it was one time that was very significant in my brain. And don't worry, <laughs> I'm very safe. And I'm also, uh, I, I'm more wiggly. I don't allow myself to be just stiff and fucking. Rigid, uh, you bend the knees now. Yeah, I, 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 
I feel it like a freaking like riding a horse, like <laughs> let it like, dude. <laughs> Cause yeah, I ate shit on one of those things and I still have that's my scar. Oh, you can't really see it. It's right there. No, we can't really see it. But I can yeah. kind of see it. Yeah. Well, anyway. Fun time. <laughs> we talked about the queen. We talked about a movie. We talked about Brendan Fraser. Yes. Fuck so yeah, Brendan things. Fraser. We talked about Tim from Nebraska. Still don't Tim know if I hate you or I love you, Nebraska. Tim from Nebraska. But it depends where you stand on body weight. Period. And talking about it. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, yeah. Thanks so much for listening, guys. Thank you. We love, love you. you guys. We'll see you guys next week. Oh, my God. We're, like, being consistent. And we actually did film while we were out. I know. I told Devin. She was like, I'm assuming you guys don't have anything for me. And I was like, actually, we do. We fucking did it this time. <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah. Hell, yeah. So, yeah. We'll have a good episode for you guys. An in-person episode with Aaron coming out sometime soon. Very love- fucking soon. Love you all very much. Love you. <laughs> E-Y-E. E-Y. E-Y. What? Do you believe that airplanes in the night, the night sky, sky are like, like shooting stars? We, this morning, really I don't know. I don't know what happened, but um, B.O.B. was in my head, and I we were like talking about like I was like, do you know this song? Do you know who B.O.B. is? To Roger Williams, he was like, no, I don't know who that is. And I started playing uh, B.O.B. songs, and he knew all of them. I'm like, oh, okay, you, yeah. you know, who like, he is. you know who B.O.B. <laughs> is, yeah, because he was he had a set of chokehold in 2013. Uh, yeah, <laughs> loved me some B.O.B. Yeah, yeah. Shout out B.O.B. Okay, love you guys. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>